R E C Y C L E. That's the way it's supposed to be. The earth recycles and so do we. R E C Y C L E. Welcome to my introductory video for my ePortfolio. This video explores my selected selected topics for my ePortfolio. It also discusses my style as a learner and a teacher, as well as explains how I wish people to go about exploring my ePortfolio. The topic I selected for my ePortfolio is recycling, or more specifically everyday recycling, which is recycling you do from home. This includes materials such as paper, plastic, and electronics. So, why did I choose recycling as the topic for my ePortfolio? What probably drove me the most to select this topic is my academic background in biology and environmental studies, which began in 2008. In 2009, my environmental studies began to become more in-depth and my awareness of the declining state of the environment grew enormously. This was also the time that my roommates and I began to recycle everything we could, started to compost, and became more green and generous. Now in 2014, I am still actively recycling at home, and then part of the Green Mission initiative at my workplace. Recycling is so important to me that I've used it in previous courses as topics for individual learning projects. For example, an old artifact I developed is a website called RecyclingStewardship.com. This website acts as a course to teach people about recycling and also to engage them in discussing recycling through social media such as this Twitter feed. This artifact will probably act as a building block for some of the artifacts I hope to develop from an online portfolio. So what is my style of learning and teaching? According to the BART questionnaire, I have a very strong reading and writing learning strategy. This means I even take information through lists, headings, readings, manuals, and notes. But what does this mean for my teaching style? If I were to use my method of learning as my method of teaching, my methods would fall under the lower order thinking spectrum on Lean's taxonomy scale. That is why one obstacle I will face in developing my ePortfolio is building my visual learning and teaching skills so that I can create artifacts that are of higher order thinking. Therefore, my plan is to work my way up Lean's taxonomy scale before beginning to develop my final artifact. First, I will begin at the bottom of Bloom's taxonomy scale by remembering information. I will do so by listing and curating resources by using the website Delicious. Then, I will try to understand and interpret the information through blog posts that I will post on my ePortfolio. Then, I will analyze and evaluate what information is the most important by presenting and organizing it on an online multimedia platform called Blendspace. Finally, I will reach Bloom's highest level of taxonomy by creating videos on Camtasia for each of the four subtopics I've identified. So, how do I want people to go about looking at my ePortfolio? Ideally, I would like them to follow this sequence of events. First, I would like people to go through my profile page which provides basic information about myself, a video that introduces myself, as well as my latest journal entries that regard course content. Next, I would like people to take the time to read over my reflections that cover each month to date in this course. These reflections will help people understand the learning process I've utilized to develop my artifacts. Next, people can look at the pages I've created for brainstorming ideas. For example, one page is a curation of multimedia resources I have come across while exploring how I might develop my topic. Finally, I would like people to begin looking at the final products I have created by exploring the four subtopics I have identified, which are everyday recycling, composting, why recycling is important, and tips on being green. Each of these four pages will contain a variety of different artifacts as well as a final product video that will be made using Camtasia. Thank you for watching my video introduction to my ePortfolio. I hope it has allowed you to better understand my individual learning process and also has encouraged you to... 